talk about uh, Android Wear. That was announced. Was that today? This happened. So, and I didn't get to read the fine print on this. What it, from what it sounds like, and I'm sure everyone's just making estimates on. It's what a platform. It is. It's a platform, but it's it's based around the concept of a watch. I haven't even set my eyes on this thing. So this is basically, it's a version of Android, right? Uh, that is going to be featured for a watch. Uh, I know LG, Samsung, who funny they're running their own mm-hmm. pan, uh, Tizen Tizen uh, version. Um, LG is doing a round one. So is the one I saw from this, Motorola. Oh, actually, this is Motorola I'm looking at. So, and Motorola is actually the first one that I've seen that actually really looks like what you would think of as a watch. So, so. Because they've always been square, kind of big. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Thick. Talking about it, show me. Uh, so, so what is that? A digital just watch it's face? A digital dis- and it's a, it is yeah, it's a digital display. So and just make it look like a, uh, a watch. Right, and if you kind of look at that to to explain what we're looking at, it's a circular watch face of what we're we're completely used to with the uh, minute hand, second hand, hour hand, and then if you see to the left and right, off center of the the main hands. You can have two additional time zones right on that. There'll be, uh, I think they were saying options for other, other, uh, other time zones on there and other capabilities. Like you can put notifications in those areas. So, I mean, this is. I've like, seen ones where the temperature's there and it's a picture of the city you're in with the times. So it sounds like it's small. not trying to do a whole lot in the long run. No, and and if you want my guess, it's probably going to require a Bluetooth connection to a phone, Mm -hmm. is my guess. Now, here's where I think it's going to get interesting. I think this is going to be the second cross-platform watch. So if you're familiar, so Samsung's have always only worked with Samsung devices. I'm sure Apple's is probably only going to work with Apple devices. Pebble and Google... Well, Pebble works cross-platform. It works on iOS and Android. There's an app store for both. The Pebble app on your phone actually feeds your device with information. I'm guessing because Google Now is built into the Google app on the iPhone and it can run background app refresh, you're now potentially going to be able to pull... Now is now going to pull to your watch. Okay. We're in now. Now that was this was then. <laughs> this is now. When will then be now? <laughs> oh, you just this it. looks awesome. I, I don't know. Is this this is just the example from Google, right? Yeah, uh, I think this so. looks awesome. Like this doesn't like 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 you know we we kind of position like I, I love the idea of talking about like you know maybe it's what we get in Google Glass. Sit down this now. I want this to come to Google Glass. Well, and that's where my question is going to be. So notice they're. I think the platform is is kind of Android Wear. Mm-hmm. Notice they didn't call it Android Watch. So it's not it's not like like when we, when I talk about glasses, like oh, it's like we put a cell phone on your on your face, right. and, and and really it's doing that same pairing thing. It has to be on a network. It has to be attached to your phone or something. This is taking a watch and adding things to a watch idea rather than taking a cell phone and just moving it to a different place. So the other comment was it's, it, it, it isn't just Android as we know it for a smaller screen. It's been designed especially for smart watches. It's incredibly simple and fast. Um, I'm wondering if is this going to is Google Glass going to be a fork of this? Is this actually a fork of glass? I are they just going to end up being the same cross thing? Ideas here. There's, there's got to be a lot of cross ideas here. Because when, when I, when I think of the time that I wore your glass and the way the screen looks up close to your face, I mean it's the size of a, of a large movie screen, practically, or a large TV sitting across the room. It's the same thing with a watch. It's, a, it's just a little bit bigger. Um, my questions, first off, are I'm not too worried about thickness. My question is battery life. Yeah, I've become yeah. I've become okay with recharging my phone every or my phone, my watch every seven days. Mm-hmm. I'm not going. I don't want to have to recharge a watch every ten hours like the original Galaxy Gear. And this, so this will be the first one. That's a nice. It looks like a nice color. It has nice color video animation. 
I like this map's tie-in. What's in. the yeah? What's yeah, what's the what's my battery life going to be? And I'm not wondering because you were we we've been talking about batteries a lot on the show, and I've been seeing. I don't know if it's because I've been searching Amazon for backup batteries and stuff like that. That all of a sudden I'm starting to see more deals come in through email and and different websites. Like all of a sudden every backup battery is like fifty percent off, seventy five percent off. So are we also on the cusp of a battery breakthrough? Mm. And people are dumping the batteries of today. Wow. But don't quote me on that because it's a guess. And maybe this thing's going to be a little bit better on battery because it is, like, it's not going to be as, I mean, I think it's going to be, it's, they're showing it in the middle of the wrist, so it's got to be, do you have a size on this thing? They, they didn't really have a size that, on any of the sites that I saw, mm-hmm. but the Galaxy Gear wasn't huge. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that big of a watch. And i got to think about, like, how quick this thing goes and look at mm-hmm. the giant thing. I mean, like Google Glass for everybody on audio. I mean, the, the, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is your battery. It's like a, it's about the size of a decent sized thumb drive. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure like this is your battery plus whatever makes the bone conduction work. So maybe even, like like half of this is mm-hmm. the battery. So I mean, you can't stuff more battery into this. You know, there's there's not much you're working with. I mean, you think they have to put all their radios in there. Compare this to a size of a phone. You know, just like your your surface area. And you gotta think okay you don't have this giant screen taking up a lot of space but still like a lot of the components in this are in this i'm holding up an iphone 5s for anybody that's not you know wondering what i'm doing but i mean this is general size of mm-hmm. any phones so um and, and concerning like well these are the components that were in this size thing this iphone size thing two years ago on android wise I, mean, I don't know what the spec bump did to this this is a glass too um, but still, you gotta think. You know, it can only go so far. Unless there's that breakthrough you're talking mm-hmm. about. So I'm curious how hot those things are gonna get.